Hey guys, it's 3.30 in the morning. Jamie's upstairs taking a quick shower and we're about to be on our way to the Newark airport. Uh, from there, we're gonna go take a flight to Miami for a quick layover and then we're going to Sandals, Royal Curacao. So, I'll see y'all there. So once Jamie and I arrived to the resort's grand opening, we were greeted with performers and all of Sandals' lovely staff members. We were given warm towels and then redirected to the concierge lounge to finish the check-in process. Here we were greeted with some bubbly, given a brief overview of what to expect, and then redirected once more to the resort's food trucks so that we can eat while our rooms get prepared. On our way to the food trucks, we passed by the lobby which overlooks the double infinity pool and ocean, as well as some other restaurants. But it was on our way to the food trucks in which we both noticed something. Something a little bit troubling. All right, so Jamie and I are in our rooms now at uh, Sandals Row Curacao. We have the sub club level suite. And uh, before I give a tour of the room, just want to give first impressions. You know, Jamie and I both collectively have the same thoughts and that they were not ready to open. This feels much more like a soft opening than a grand opening. I mean, um, just down to very nuanced things, like our um, chip reader wasn't ready to open the doors. Oh, the, wiring in the, room. the wiring in the rooms are a little wacky. If you come look at this, at our gorgeous view. What are this? I mean, there's like dirt on the walkways. Yeah, there's dirt on the walkways. And I feel like all the restaurant bathrooms have toilet paper. I mean, not, sorry, they just were not ready. Hand, like hand paper towels go right. So I think when I went to the bathroom today, there's a dish soap in my bathroom. There was. So, hello. So um, they just were not ready to open and we love sandals. We've gone to plenty of sandals resorts, so we know like how good they can be. So we're hopeful for the future of I mean, Royal like, What we were talking about when it was just us was that we think like give it a couple months, the resort will be great. I'm mean, shit right now. Um, the resort will be great. It just needs like, like he said, soft opening vibes for sure. I think the staff is so sweet and lovely and Sandals always really has great staff and service. But like it's their first day like there's not the organization no shade they're great and kind and sweet and perfect but um they lack organization a little bit structure um maybe leadership like someone who's kind of taking point yeah and um they just don't have that like flow yet yeah so in short, everyone's lovely. The food is pretty good so far. I mean, we've only had lunch. They had like we did a taco. Food, no, not food, food truck. Food truck. It was just like we had like street food, um, and it was pretty good. Um, and we're like food snobs. Internet either. It's not okay. well, I, I wasn't. I'm not surprised. But um, all like the little more nuanced things, like they definitely were not ready. Um, but you know, and as I mentioned, mm -hmm. we don't have the nicest view because there's. You know, all the ground is ripped up from the floor because they're still doing piping and whatnot. But the pool looks gorgeous, which we're very excited to check out um, tomorrow. The pool is done. I guess that's a must for a resort to open, even for a like soft we opening. Said, um, we're a little bit disappointed, like with the overall, like what we were walking to eat, which they would have like kind of postponed opening like two to three months. Like um, if they were more like, transparent. We, yeah, like. They probably could be finished with things in probably a month-ish, but then like for things to look right, maybe two months to like have maybe uh, worked with their staff a little bit uh, more, have that structure in place. I really think they could have done a couple more months. Um, so I'm going push pushed it back, but still we were talking about as long as you have the food, the sun, the water, the, the trees, booze, yeah. you'll be fine. Yeah, pretty much. And the weather's gorgeous, by the way. And also, it helps that this is not our first sandal experience, so it wouldn't be, like, ruining the sandal image. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Yeah. There's people that came here for their honeymoon, and we're just thinking, like, what an awful first-time right. sandals and experience. Plus, they weren't transparent. Like, you don't know what you're walking into. I mean, 
you expect it to be this gorgeous resort. It's been booked out. It's sold out for like one or two years online now. It's expensive. And then, like it's expensive. Like you don't want to. I don't know. You don't want I, something if, that's if not was, ready like, to be open. You know, like you know, you want to go to your honeymoon. I would have. I would. I would never recommend this for your honeymoon at this stage. Yeah. I mean, you would pick anything else. A down resort. <laughs> yeah, it's just not ready. But it, it, yeah. I think that's that that encapsulates it best. It just feels like a soft opening. It feels even like less than a soft opening. Less, a soft opening. It's finished. It's yeah. just like working out. It's like literally not. It's, it's literally not finished. Testing out food and yeah. all the feel stays like it's finished. You try it, work out some kinks, and yeah, it is not as <laughs> It's it's literally not finished. But our room's pretty nice, so without further ado, we're gonna um, demonstrate our room here. So I'm gonna start from the beginning. Swamp. All right, so this is a quick room tour. So you first walk in, and just to add on to the point that, you know, they really were not ready, we just had this installed. This is like the key reader. This wasn't even installed when we first got here. And we checked in, like, what time is it now? Like seven? Yeah, we just saw this tour, like, we've probably been here for three hours. Yeah, we've been here for three, well, over three hours. Like, we checked them late. Yeah, maybe like our room wasn't ready. Like we kind of just like tried to make the best of like what we walked into. We just like spent a hot minute at the food truck. That's true. Yeah, we did spend a, a lot of time eating the food. As we said, the food was great. So you first walk in. To our left, we have the bathroom. Gorgeous sink. Love the yeah, tiling. Okay, you can okay, just make a note of it. So uh, I don't have, like, you know, those yeah. Alright, cool. Just write, just write it down. Alright, so anyways, this is a shower. It's very cool. I kind of like how it's like, this part's like covered from the bedroom, but the bottom and top are showing. Very sexy, very cute. Love to see it. And then the sink, toilet, very nice bathroom. Over here, this is just closet space. You know, these are all essentials in any sandals resort, including a safe. It's very nice. Over here is a you know mini fridge, which is not currently stocked. Um, they're still working that out. Can you get that stocked? No ropes. No, no ropes. Oh yeah, we don't even have our luggage. No I even forgot to no forgot to mention that. Yeah. So, um, and we're making this sound really depressing. <laughs> Uh, we have a little couch here, coffee set up, a little Low desk key, area. Low-key, we are not that depressed. We're not depressed, because but... Because I feel like we were all so excited to sort of get away, like us. And yeah. we love each other, and we have so much fun with each other that we'll just... It'll be a fun time regardless, time. and it'll just be a good recharge, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the whole room. You could get the whole snapshot in this one view here. Like I said, this is just our mini balcony area. And as you can see outside, to further reiterate, like they literally are not done. Like that's dirt, cones, all that construction workers over there. Like they were not ready to open. But nevertheless, the room is gorgeous. Um, and yeah, we'll record dinner. Yeah, this might be one of our nicer... I do think this is one of our nicest rooms. That's true. Yeah, the like the modern like the design, the interior design is gorgeous. Gorge. 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 Okay. All right. So then we'll just record and document dinner, maybe our outfits and uh, some so more. Maybe not the outfits because I feel like honestly today I'm not fashion forward. I'm like comfort forward. Just like after I feel like that's gonna be the whole resort. Yeah, I mean it's giving the. But also, giving that not everything is um, ready. ready, the I thing that the restaurants are formal. Oh yeah, we we, we literally have to walk through dirt. Like to I was get wearing here. white sneakers. So yeah, were you. I was too. Oh no, you're getting annoyed now. <laughs> okay, babe. All right. Anyways. Bye. All right. Bye bye. First meal. We we're at Aolos. I have the um, prime rib. Jamie got the sea bass. It's deboned with no pine nuts. Enjoy. It's just a filet beef. Just filet, yeah. I'm not a fish person. She's the expert. 
You having fun there? <laughs> Jimmy Cappuccino art. Jimmy Cappuccino art. Black like coffee. Like the guy we watch at Boho. Yeah. <laughs> I was practicing his technique. <laughs> Man, but it's it's black coffee. Yeah. So we came back for dinner. We're actually gonna do a late night swim. Oh, there's a gym. Um, there is a gym. Yeah, I'll probably go to a gym like. Oh well, there look. Three there's days like from now. A... Should we just keep going? Yeah, let's just see. All right, so we're investigating this like disco music that we're hearing off in like the outskirts of the resort um, and you know you could tell that this place isn't really well lit right now because you barely because, see us because 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 because, <laughs> because. Yeah. so let's investigate this little dance uh, disco over here I suspect that there's no one here really dancing that's cool though Careful, maybe not be deep. <laughs> so we just came back from our late night swim, which was um, awesome. The pool was very well lit and it was a good temp. Uh, tomorrow we have orientation at 10 and I'm just gonna have a late night cocktail with me here. And um, yeah, so we'll see y'all tomorrow. So this is our second day. Well, um, it's our first like day. First full day. Yeah. Yeah. So second, so, you know, second day. Um, we're gonna get breakfast at Pietra, which is the buffet here because as of now. Last night we went to Aeolos, yep. Aeolos for dinner, and that is a la carte breakfast. But um, Pietra is just, like right by the pool area, and just want to kind of feel things out. Yeah, today's gonna be a pool day. All right, so I'll have to check. side pretty much yeah he's, yeah the guy with the huge they can pull in the back of their photo yeah so anyways everything like that side of the resort's like done it's actually pretty gorgeous where i was no well we're still low ratchet with our iphones but back there it's like the unfinished side and that's where the food trucks were so if you're facing the beach Left side is the unfinished side. Right side though, it's done. It's actually it's actually really nice, and it, that's the side's well lit at night. Other side, not so much. No. Hello. Hi. We are at the Strand Seafood Seafood House. It is on the outermost right side of the resort. We Do have the tan, yeah? private bay of the tent. Yep, you look gorgeous. Mm -hmm. We have the private bay beach area right in front of us. And uh, yeah, this food looks banging. That's the menu. You enjoying your time? Absolutely. Yeah, we're having a great time. The drinks are flowing and we're feeling good. Jamie's Amen. on tequila. Jamie's on tequila. <laughs> Quick. So I ordered the bitballin. You ordered a jerk chicken, the sham. And Jamie ordered a um, wrap, a shrimp wrap. Shrimp Caesar wrap. Shrimp Caesar wrap. Yep. The bit ball is like a meatball. I have no idea what's in it, but it's like a local thing apparently. It's kind of like a mashed potato meatball. Yeah, it's like a mashed potato meatball. It's pretty good. It has any mustard dipping sauce. Jerk chicken, it's always immaculate. You don't have to try it. We know jerk chicken's lovely. And Caesar wrap, um, what's the verdict? Good? Caesar. Awesome. Caesar meets beef. Caesar meets beef. Beach. Beach. Lovely. Mm, <laughs> Here comes Jamie coming out of the pool. First, that was really hot. Um, sometimes you get a nice breeze going, and it's like lovely, especially at nighttime. There's a stronger breeze, but right now, it is hot. Look at her, so attractive. What? Just saying how attractive you are. Oh, and how hot it is outside. I'm gonna put some. It's like lovely. We love the sun. Can you move over? Yeah, I'm moving. I over. wanna put my sunscreen on. Yeah, reapplying is a must. Let's, let's go on the. Um, 
Oh yeah, we could do that. One note about the second infinity pool, it's see through. Cool it's cool for a cool photo, but you can see everything. Like if someone's don't there, do yeah, don't do anything that you think you're in private because you could see it all here. It's crystal clear. It's like a mirror. So people look like they're floating in the air. Yeah. So, yeah. so where this is the front of the resort and you can see parked in front, they have the private Mini Coopers. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Why did you say it like yeah, hello? I don't know. But these are the Mini Coopers that for the uh, people staying at the, um, the, I think it's called the Lover's Nest. They get like a little private island. You also get a you know, Mini Cooper. So right now we're in Vincent. Vincent is the European restaurant here. It's, yeah, as you can tell, it's very chic. A lot of art in the background. It's very cool. It is the only restaurant available currently that requires a formal dress wear, so it's a little bougie. But Merp did like, oh, excuse me, Mr. Manto did formal with the, a Merp twist. Um, did what? Formal with the Manzo twist. Yeah, you know, dress up formal, but still, you know, something a little casual. Um, a little beachy. But um, yeah, the menu looks More promising. Us. More us. The menu looks very promising, so we're pretty excited. And uh, we'll see how it looks like. Giving them pass, this ain't listening us. I die, got it from the get go. Not a pass, ain't winning the pile, they pile, filling in all of my kidneys. Don't get on, it's a long way off from the top. But we gon' get that going our way up. Is I have no idea. These are desserts. Don't ask us what they are. I forgot already, but they look amazing. Oh, oh it's chocolatey. Yep, look at the inside of that. That's like pudding almost. And I don't know what this is. I think this is a pavlova. This is pavlova. Oh, I thought that was pavlova. What was I, I don't know. Just look at these. these they look what great. What is this? I have no idea. <laughs> look at the thing. You have it. Oh, the menu? Yeah. I think that's a pavlova. Because it comes with the diced fruit. Pavlova Wait, came look, with those fruit. Oh, you're right. That looks so good. That's like an Italian donut. Yeah, it does. This is a chocolate. And then that's the, the pudding. Oh, my God. <laughs> So it's currently June 7th. We just woke up. We got dressed. We haven't really been showing what we've been doing the past few days because we've just been doing the same thing, which is uh, eat breakfast, go to the pool, then eat lunch, then pull some more, and then shower, get ready for dinner. But today we're going into town. I put my foot way ahead the other. got back from the town it was lovely um, quick summary it's very small two to three hours is perfectly fine it's super hot way hotter than where we're staying um, like really hot you can really feel the desert heat and um, yeah they have a lot of cute cafes and ta taxi was $44 which is we thought was a little pricey so just be prepared there and 44 back yeah so we spent actually a hundred a hundred because we together. tipped but we just well, did we also 50. Had 50, so yeah we just gave them 50 so it's a hundred dollars total just to be into town, but it was worth it. It was really beautiful. And uh, we took lots of cute photos and yeah, now we're going to the pool. I'm sure I have a video of what the pool looked like when we first got here, but as you can see, it is much more livelier. They actually got the music working, the drinks are flowing, and everyone seems to be having a good time. See, I've been stuck inside my head, twisting and turning, holding my chest. I've been yearning for something I don't know what. I tell myself that I'm going through what I am for a moment. I feel it right in my gut. Maybe life is a freestyle. I've been living my day. It's so rough. Hey, so Jamie and I just got back from the members dinner. And um, it was a good time. We noticed that usually the menus are pretty consistent. They start off with like a soup puree. Um, some funky salad, then for entrees, it's usually just a surf and turf, and then a dessert that's comprised of just some local ingredients. So we had a, a rum cheesecake that was pretty good. Um, and as always, they gave us a bottle of Appleton rum right here. It is a liter bottle. 
um, probably equivalents or worth anywhere between 30 to 50 dollars but it is a very good bottle of rum highly recommend it um, and tomorrow we are going to a super yacht tour to Klein Curacao. Klein Curacao is a small island offshore. Um, yeah, I actually don't know much of the details of what we're, what we're getting into. All I know is that we're going on a fun yacht, going to go offshore to this, op, you know, going to this offshore island. Um, and then they offer on yacht massages and you know drinks, and it's going to be a fun time. Um, what's not so fun is that we have to be at the lobby at six forty in the morning. Uh, which is pretty brutal because we've been waking up or going to breakfast at like 9 30 almost 10 pushing it um we haven't even been staying up that late we just you know we're just really relaxing enjoying our time because so we've just kind of been on this cycle of eating breakfast going to the pool which is great um and then going to lunch and then going back to the pool and then going to the room for dinner so we just kind of just been recording the dinners i mean lunch we're pretty consistent on we either go between the where they have the buffet breakfast, which is called Pietra, it's Italian style. So for lunch, they have um, an assortment of artisanal, or artisanal, whatever you, however you pronounce that, um, pizzas essentially, and a lunch menu. Um, we also like going to Strand for lunch, which is on the beach. And for Strand, we just get a burger or whatnot. Um, earlier on, we, we went to the food trucks, but you know, food trucks is kind of out of the way and we've kind of tried everything from the food trucks, but you know, lunch is all wonderful. And for dinner, I mean, we at this point we've tried every restaurant here and um, it's pretty good quality. We enjoy it. Um, our favorite has to be all around Vincent. Um, if you're particularly into see, uh, sushi, Gatsu Gatsu is amazing, but Gatsu Gatsu just doesn't feel like a restaurant. It feels more like, more like appetizers um, because it's really just sushi and there's only like three rolls per, per sushi order. And there's, so you could like burn through the menu. We ordered like eight rolls and we still don't feel full. Tried to be informative, but you know, if you're looking for, looking at this for information of the resort, probably aren't doing a good job because um, <laughs> we're just enjoying our time here. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Hi. Oh, it's me? Yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> On our way to our super yacht, it's 6.55, we're very tired. I think you're scared to see the you, who best believe that, see that, you got something better when you sleep, don't let nobody tell you who to be, yeah, more things coming, just keep that smile up shining, I know it's dark and funny, but don't lose hope, it's coming, I feel this moment flowing inside my two hands, thinking that this the time, hold up with a fire, hit her with a fire. Someone through a random door. Where are we going? Let's just keep going deeper. Oh, I think this is the lobby. Nice. We found our way to the lobby. And we're here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's a little sleep delirious. <laughs> Let me see where it's on. Here you go. Look, you look beautiful. No. Those my crazy eyes? Yeah. She's not drunk, she's tired. Only tired. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man, come on, let's look at this. Let's show my modern take on a woman tuxedo. It's a very cute outfit. Ooh, oh, 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 oh,
That's true. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, we're down here. Oh, too much happening. We're going up. Oh, God. And explain what just happened. <laughs> This is just, you're just acting delirious and some strangers open the elevator. Not even that, I like fully screamed on the top of my lungs before the door opened. What did you scream? I was be off the lemonade, acting effing ridiculous. Please. Did you need a moment? Please. I don't know. Oh, what's going on? I think I'm calm now. Okay. Okay. You okay? I'm pretty sure. What are hoes? Nah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it is our last day. We're all packed. Oh. All packed. Waiting for the bellboy. And um Yeah. Goodbye kiss. <laughs> City, fall back and get gritty, don't start lacking my pennies. Card cash, we got pennies, no cars, cancel my pennies. I'm winning, I want that for my city. Fall back and get gritty, don't start lacking my business. Card cash for my interests, all that's so I can fall back tonight.